Hello there! Today I want to compare the three deodorants that doTERRA offers on their website and give you a fourth option of how to make your own with a blend that I personally have made and like. To start off with, I'll introduce each of the deodorants on the website. We have doTERRA Douglas Fir and Greek Orange. There's doTERRA Balance, which is the grounding blend. And there's a limited time, but still available, doTERRA Citrus Bloom Springtime Blend. And all three of these have the same basic ingredient, ingredients except for the, um, the Douglas fir and orange is baking soda free. So if you have a sensitivity to baking soda, then this would be the choice for you. I have found that my body needs baking soda to be a good deodorant. And so I use either uh, doTERRA Balance deodorant or I use my own because of the, the scent that I prefer. And what I want to talk mostly about is the way these smell. I know sometimes when you're trying to decide what to buy and you haven't experienced it yet, it's hard to figure out, am I going to like the way that smells? Is it going to work with my body? And so this is just an attempt to give you some descriptors so that you can figure out which one you might want to purchase. So to start with, we'll start with the doTERRA Balance. It's the grounding blend. There are other Balance products that have similar smells. To me, this one smells very masculine. Uh, it's sprucey, it's outdoorsy, it's think winter uh, tree lot when you smell this one. It, even, it smells good on women, but to me it's a very masculine smell, so my husband uses this one. I will use it in a pinch if I need to. The other option that has baking soda is the springtime blend of Citrus Bloom. This has orange and grapefruit and Roman chamomile, so it's a little bit kind of bitter smelling. It's not so much citrusy as citrus bloom, so I think a little more floral. It's very subtle. Uh, the pink kind of kind of gives it away. It's a little more feminine smell. Um, this is this is my uh, my choice over my husband's. <laughs> um, and so both of those, the springtime blend and the balance, do have baking soda. So if you have especially sensitive skin and you need a non-baking soda option, you're going to go with the Douglas fir and Greek orange. And while it says Douglas fir, the primary ingredient of the oils is first orange, um, and then your balsam organ oil. And so it has very orangey, subtle, again, kind of foresty smell to it. I do really like this one, and I, I wish it, it worked for my body, but I have found that I do need baking soda. Um, so this one's a little bit more neutral for men or women, uh, kind of orangey smell. And then the last option that I have tried out for myself is to make my own deodorant. And doTERRA has uh, an, a, a recipe on their DIY website, and I'll link that below. But for me, the, the flavors or the oils that I put in were lemon uh, for cleansing effect. I know you, you're putting deodorant right near your lymph nodes, so I wanted to include lemon for the smell and for the, the benefits of cleansing. Tea tree is anti -my and so it's going to kill any of the smells in your armpits that might cause the stink that you're needing deodorant for. So I included tea tree and frankincense as well is good for your body. Uh, it improves all kinds of things. And so I added a little bit of frankincense. I just love frankincense too. So what I did, I followed the DIY recipe and I put 10 drops of lemon, three drops, drops of tea tree, and three drops of frankincense. And this made a deodorant that I absolutely love. But if I don't have time to make a new deodorant, I'll go ahead and use my springtime blend or the citrus or, or the balance if I'm desperate. So I hope that helps you in figuring out which kind of deodorant you would like to purchase.